Welcome back, everybody. Coast to Coast, This Week in America. A Sunny Nurse was written to inspire children learning to read, to read with confidence, and get a boost in their belief in themselves at an early age. The main character, Sunny, struggles with reading and has to learn not to run away from difficulties, but to face them with a positive attitude and to never stop believing in herself. Leslie's journey began with writing poetry in school to authoring relationship advice books, motivational quotes, and now children's books. Also, the author of The Tale of Greedy Reby and Sparkle at Every Step, motivational quote books for parents and kids. A graduate of the Fashion Institute of Technology in Advertising and Marketing Communications, Leslie Nurse, author of How Sunny Sees It, with us on This Week in America. Leslie, welcome to the program. It's great to have you with us. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited. Well, I am too to have you here to talk about the book, and this really is an inspirational book, and I touched on it briefly. Where did you get the idea? How long ago to get the idea come to you to, to write this book? I would say the idea came to me through my friends. They, um, two particular friends, they, their daughters were both struggling with the same issue. I would hear over and over again that when it came to doing homework and the reading part was a struggle. And one of my friends said, you need to do a book for the, for the kids with this because this is something that that's happening and you know and i think she'll she'll feel good about that so i took that and then i said to myself i didn't want it to be preachy i wanted to connect with the kids so i just decided to write it in a rhyming style and really kind of put myself in their shoes and there was sunny well it's interesting talk about your writing style because this is uh, a Writing poetry, a rhythmic uh, uh, writing. You, I said you started off with this in in school. Talk about the, the writing style because this really delivers a message in an entertaining way, doesn't it? I yeah. When I was in school, I would just kind of you know if I was bored, I would just go in my own world and just write poetry. It always gave me like a freedom to just express myself if I was feeling down, if I had emotions, I didn't know what to do, how to articulate it. I would just have like a book of poetry. On, in any class I was in, I would just be in the back, just just writing. And I know um, with my mom, she never likes the preachy preachy. So she kind of was like echoing in my head, like, okay, <laughs> if I write anything, yes. it should never be preachy, it should be entertaining. And, um, you know, so I just decided, OK, when I do write it, let me make sure that it's entertaining. You know, I did go to FIT for advertising and marketing. Um, writing was one of my favorite subjects. I actually admire magazine writing. So maybe that kind of adds a spin to it. And here you go. My style. The main character is Sunny. The book is How Sunny Sees It, A Journey to Reading Bravely. Talk about Sunny and how you developed this character? Well, Sunny, I'd like to say it's almost like an autobiography of me and so many other people. You know, whether it's reading or whatever topic you have in your life that you kind of shy away from, you build up distractions and how to deal with it, kind of escape for a little bit until you get back to the root of the problem. And Sunny just represents so many people with 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 the the common issues that we just don't face. So I just wanted to make it relatable and connect with everyone. So, and you have with this book, and it's interesting. It's a children's book, but really anybody that struggles with with shortcomings would would get a message out of this book, wouldn't they? Yeah. That was the whole point. Um, it's really to connect with the kids, but also to enlighten adults, to kind of free them from bondage, if you will. You know, oftentimes when we'll, for me, I could look at a, a kid's cartoon movie or something and see how something relates. And I wanted to connect with the parents because the parents are the ones that's most likely going to read this book to their daughter or son. And I want them to also feel that even though you're reading or entertaining your child, it's okay to let go. 
it's okay to face your issue. It's okay to not run. And no matter how you see it, you may see it on the, the darker side, but there actually is a sunnier side. That's the character Sunny, and it's a, it's a it's a really charming book. How Sunny sees it: a journey to reading bravely. Leslie D. Nurse is the author. This is a republished book now available for sale at its lowest retail price. Available for sale in all Amazon sites, Barnes and Noble, Page Turner's Bookstore, Chapters Indigo in Canada, Waterstones in the UK, Booktopia in Australia, New Zealand, and a lot more. And uh, you'll link on to all that information when you go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. The reaction, the, the reviews that I've read have all been very positive, and that has to make you feel good when somebody is like, you know, I've got a child and they've struggled with these issues, and this book has been really helpful to them and helpful to me as well as I'm trying to deal with these with these problems. It has to be like what mission accomplished when you read a review like that that the book is actually helping and, and turning around some lives. It does. And especially when a little girl, you know, or a little boy says, I love it. You know, one little girl told me that, you know, her mommy reads it to her every night. For me, mission accomplished. Because first it started out with an idea, okay, if, if I was a little girl or a little boy and I struggled with reading and, and it was just overwhelming, how would I want someone to speak with me, how, to speak to me, to connect with me? And I really thought about that, you know, kind of put myself in child's shoes. So when a child is so excited about my book, I know that I'm already a success. I accomplished my goal. The book by Leslie is How Sunny Sees It, A Journey to Reading Bravely. You'll find it at pageturner.com.us, pageturner.us in their bookstore. You can link on directly to that link by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Talk about some of the themes that you develop in the book. I know one is, is intuition and how it's important to use our intuition, which is like a gift that we're all given. What were some of the themes that you, you, you dealt on with Sunny's character in the book? The intuition, can you, what do you? Yeah, what are some of the themes? You talk about intuition, how important that is, the, the uplifting message. Uh, you talk about uh, thinking positively. And maybe I've just said that. Those are some of the themes that you really wanted to get across. Maybe not saying them is, okay, kids, here's the theme I'm going to talk about. But just presenting that is something that we all can use, a gift that we all have that will make our lives better. Yeah, that was the whole point. And um, when you read How Sunny Sees It, even the design, when you look inside and you see the book, you know, it really transcends, you know, throughout the, the book, you see the journey, you know, you see the pastel colors and the clouds, you see the way her eyes are closed, representing the way she thought in the beginning. And you see the way, you know, she transitions, you know, goes through valleys and, and you know, challenges, people doubting her, teasing her, um, her even feeding her negativity and deflecting. And then, you know, of course, every children's book has a happy ending, but I really wanted to incorporate, sometimes I believe it's important to teach children about following their intuition from a young age. You know, oftentimes we tell them, do this, do that. And then they become like a mini me. Yes. And I think it's important for them to begin to own their own journey, of course, respect their parents, but to understand mommy and daddy can't always tell me to be great and be confident. I have to learn that I can be great and confident on my own. So I thought it was very important in all of my books to inspire kids to be their own person and follow their intuition. And you mentioned the importance of presentation, and I assume that goes back to uh, the training, your love of fashion, and training at the Fashion Institute of Technology uh, and Advertising, Marketing, Communications. It's really important. You can have a message that is the best message in the world, and if it's poorly presented, it's just not going to be accepted. Talk about that, because we see the video that we're doing, and if you look at the book cover, it, it is beautifully done. You make the words come to life with the illustration. Talk about the importance of that, because that's a big part of the message, too. It's not just the words. It's what uh, what's there to complement the words. 
Oh my God, Rick! I have to ask you to repeat. Let me take off this fan. I'm sorry. Okay, that's uh, that's not my a problem. My fan is kind of loud. I was hot. There we go. Well, there's no reason to be. Well, yeah, it is summer in uh, in New York, so I guess that d- that does happen. But talk about the presentation. It's more than just words, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So I love fashion. I actually little plug having a power line seven seven spark. Um, so that's very important to me. Um, fashion really represents who you are and i wanted to just connect with people and also show my fashion roots um also i'd like to give credit to my caribbean trinidadian mother you know she always raised us with great sense of style i'd like to say and she has great sense and she always taught me little things and that's why i went to fit even though i went for advertising and marketing i've always had a love for fashion and i think that um fashion kind of connects a lot of people yes. and it's a um it's a, a great representation of one's individuality so again i just wanted to tie in intuition and individuality just keeping true to oneself well, you do an excellent job in the book, How Sunny Sees It, A Journey to Reading Bravely. Leslie D. Nurse is our guest on the program. If you Google that, Leslie is L-E-S-L-E-Y. Book's available at uh, pageturner.us in the bookstore. We'll give you that information here in, in just a couple minutes on the program. You mentioned you've got a fashion line that you just sort of threw in there. Let's go back and, t- and talk about that for a second. I didn't know that. Talk about the the fashion line. That's got to be. You got the book and you got the fashion line going. A, a lot going right now for you. You know, I tried. No, seriously. <laughs> um, like, I really, okay, I said to myself, I just want to do everything that I love and is authentic to myself. And I just want to spread the positivity, empowerment, um, being true to oneself, following your insp- you know, your intu- intuition, and just reaching for the stars. So I have a brand, and it's called Seven Seven Spark. And you know, two sevens um, to me means expect miracles, um, to inspire. That is what spark means to me. So, you know, I just so throughout my line, it's all about the positivity. It's all about empowerment for the boss babe for the person who wants a higher spiritual experience with timeless swag. (laughs) All right, now where can we get information on that? Okay, so it's actually because I was obsessed with people saying seven, seven, I have it the number seven and then the word seven, seven, seven spelled uh, spark dot shop. Ooh, and that shop. Now, that's easy to remember because that's what we're going to do when we go to your website. So I like that. That's got all the ingredients <laughs> there for uh, for success. A couple of minutes left in the program based on the success of uh, How Sunny Sees It, A Journey to Reading Bravely. What else are you working on? You do such a nice job in touching young people and taking that message and making that that inspirational and entertaining. What are you working on? Are you working on another children's book? I am. So I'm really excited about that. I really want to do a whole collection. You know, I really see myself um, really, you know, growing with kids um, on the intuition, spiritual side, the empowerment side. I think it's needed. I think in this day and age, it's, it's a little bit on the surface side. And I think we need to get deeper. I think um, it's important to start them off on the right foot look good with seven seven spark you know you have everything but but the next project is going to be another children's book and hopefully i just plan to keep writing more and maybe some speaking engagements in the future now that would be good how long does it take you how long for example with how sunny sees it how long did it take you from the the concept to actually getting the uh, the book done all the way through with the illustrations cover and everything how long a process is that okay that's a very good question. Um, there's nothing robotic with me, you know, like, you know, routine, but I will say first I ponder on the, the, the subject, the thought. So, and then I'll, I'll give it maybe like three weeks. I have to feel committed to it. Yes. Absolutely committed to it. Be excited about it. Um, after that, then I start to do the drafts what does this character look like um please speak to me like you know i'll say a prayer and meditate like who are you 
and that would be like another three weeks and then i start writing the story and i'll say yeah so basically like two to three two to three months <laughs> yes yes <laughs> but that makes sense and i like answer. that I like that because you're using your intuition as you do this. You're not following a format that somebody says, if you write a book, this is uh, this is the timeline. This is what you have to do. You do what feels right for you. The yeah. result, in this case, uh, how Sunny sees it, a journey to reading bravely. It's getting rave reviews from, from everybody. And the book, by the way, available for sale in all Amazon sites, Barnes & Noble, Page Turner's Bookstore, Chapters Indigo in Canada, Waterstones in the UK, Booktopia in Australia, New Zealand, and a lot more. Also available for sale as an ebook, paperback, and hardcover. So you get all that information. You can link on directly to Paige Turner by going to our website thisweekinamerica.us. And of course, we've given you the information on the uh, on the, the apparel line out there. That was a surprise in the program. Congratulations on the success of of that as well as the book. Leslie, this has been fun. I really admire what you're doing. A very talented writer. Keep up the writing. Uh, keep up getting out there and uh, and touching people and speaking engagements would be a, a natural extension for you. I hope that some of those uh, uh, come your way very soon. You can you can touch a lot of people in, in a number of ways. Thank you for being with us on the program. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It has been a pleasure. Leslie D. Nurse, our guest on the program. Her book is How Sunny Sees It, A Journey to Reading Bravely. You'll find it at pageturner.us in their bookstore. You can link on to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and get all the information on Leslie. And we're back on today's program after we pause for these messages. <laughs> 